Hello everybody, this is Kevin from xnadevelopment.webs.com Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to move your sprite using a couple keyboard tricks. Well, not keyboard tricks, like keyboard functions. Okay, so open up Microsoft Visual Studio. Open a new project. Name it Sprite. Well, at least I'm going to name it Sprite Movement. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do here is add a vector 2D. Now, name it Sprite underscore position. And that equals to a new vector 2. And then where you want your character to be. So, let's just say 100 by 200. Next, you're going to want to do a texture 2D with Sprite, okay? And from here, you're going to want to load into your content pipeline. If you don't know how to do that, please check your other tutorials. Okay, so now you're going to want to come here to load content and put Sprite equals content load texture 2d smile okay now that that's done you're going to want to come to your sprite batch and actually draw your code okay so we're going to put sprite batch dot begin sprite batch dot draw Right, right position, color dot white. There you go. And then I end this statement. Sprite batch dot end. Okay. Now comes the hard part. This is when we're gonna add our update logic. AKA what we're going to use to actually move our character. Now, as you can see here, this line of code is using the gamepad or your Xbox 360 controller. Now, in order to fix this for a Windows or keyboard, type in your if statement, but this time put keyboard dot get state player index dot one now put dot is key down keys dot escape and then add your this dot exit okay There you go. That should then exit when used. And let's show it. So, there we go. And if I click escape, it exits. Now is time to upload to, not upload. <laughs> now is the time to put in our update logic for using our keyboard to move this break. So once again, we are going to use the same type of code. If keyboard state equals key down, keys dot left, and here we're going to put in sprite position dot x minus equals four. Next, we will do the exact same, but for the right key. But this time, we're going to put sprite position dot x is plus equals to 4. Now, you see what I did there? I reversed it. 
And then we're going to put the exact same thing. And just for shits and gigs, we are going to put keys dot up. And here is a, a little bit different. We're going to be using sprite position dot y minus equals four. Close that. Same thing. We're we're going to put keys dot down and then reverse it one more. Okay, and we're basically done. As you can see, that's all our update logic. Now, let me explain the code. Here we're, de here we're saying a new vector2 with a sprite position as the variable, and we're already declaring it. Here is a texture2d. That's pretty simple. Here, once again, we're loading up the content pipeline which is over here, see, but we're drawing it with sprite batch. And then here's where the confusing stuff gets in for most people. Here's your update. Basically what this is saying is if we get the keyboard state, it's player one and the key is down and it's the escape key, then do this. And if keyboard dot get state, if it's player index dot one, then if the key is down left, then sprite position dot x minus equals four. And on and on and on and on. Now if we run this, we can see our player perfectly moves the way we want him to. He can even move diagonal. Alright, you guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Oh, oh, wait. If we click escape, boom. Alright, you guys. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, this has been Kevin from XNA Develop development.webs.com. Uh, if you guys would like to email me, please email me at xnadeveloper at hotmail.ca. Thank you.